Well, Zach, dude, thank you so much again for joining me today. We're here to talk about the setup on your 2016 Silverado. Now, you've got the 18 by 9.5 inch Black Rhino Arsenal. Color is sand on black wheels with a negative 18 millimeter offset, giving it an aggressive stance with that poke. Uh, wrapped around that, you got the Mickey Thompson Baja ATZ tires, 275-70 R18, which comes to a 33 by 11 inch tire, along with that two and a half inch leveling kit. If you can, sir, break down uh, the wheels, the sizing, and the offset. The, uh, the wheels are Black Rhino Arsenal Sand, they are a little bit on the heavy side, I will I will say that. So those Black Rhinos, I'm a big fan. I had Black Rhinos on my last truck, but I love the Arsenal because I think the Arsenal, um, the Armory, like those are kind of the wheels that I think define what Black Rhino is all about. What made you choose the Arsenal? Uh, just the look of it and then the tan. My plan with this truck is to make kind of a Baja truck, but that's still a truck. So I might wrap my truck tan so I went with the tan. Now as for sizing, we got an 18 by nine and a half. That's the width, obviously in the diameter. Uh, and then there are negative 18 millimeter offsets. So you, that's like an aggressive fitment. You get some good amount of poke with that, right? My plan was to uh, get a little bit of a wider track without having to use wheel spacers. Yeah, and it definitely achieved that. I think with the wider wheel and that lower offset, it gives that that nice wide stance looks aggressive for sure. The stance versus stock. We have some pictures of your truck when it had the stock wheels on it, but it's amazing the difference going with a different wheel and a different offset can really make, right? Just having different wheels in general is a completely different ball game. You really gotta get used to having couple inch wider truck. So those tires, the Baja ATZ, it's a, a 275-70R18, which breaks down, I guess, about a 33 by 11. How do you like the, uh, the Mickey Thompsons? They are definitely really good tire. I mean, they are loud on the road, but this winter I've had no issues. My area had two, almost two feet of snow and I had no issues. I haven't taken on the sand yet, but I imagine it would do okay. You said there is a little bit of road noise though with the ATZ? Yes, they do hum a lot, quite a bit. How's the truck feel? I mean, you, you stepped up to a slightly bigger tire. You said the wheel's a little heavy. Does it feel a little bit more sluggish with them installed? No, I mean, my truck has a four cylinder deactivation mode, so the truck struggles with that, so it can't go into four cylinder, but when I'm actually like going, I don't notice a difference. So it does bog the truck down a little bit, but not a whole lot. Is the truck tuned or anything like that? Not yet, just a cold air intake. So you don't notice any like kind of wackiness with the speedometer being off or anything like that? Nope, it seems about pretty accurate. Well, in order to clear those uh, 33s, basically, we need to talk suspension. Now you said a two and a half inch leveling kit, correct? So I had to raise the front because it rubbed on the mud flap when I was turning. I do recommend taking the mud flaps off since having a bigger tire like that the dirt and stuff tends to collect on the mud flap a lot easier because it's so close to the tire. What about future plans for the truck? I know we talked about the wrap and maybe going more pre-runner style, but any future plans as far as like suspension or setup is concerned? Uh, I plan on going with the Fox Long Travel, stock shock and strut. And then in the future, when it's no longer my daily, I'm gonna put long travel on it. I'm gonna go all out. Uh, any regrets with anything that may maybe you've done different, you should have done differently or would have done differently with your current setup? Yeah, I would have gotten lighter tires. Having those heavier tires is nice, but that cylinder deactivation makes you have to get a tune because then you're just you're con continuously deactivating and activating those cylinders. I think that's the only thing I would have changed. That's not a bad list, man, honest to say. No. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it looks great. You have pictures of the truck with the stock wheels and then with the after, and I mean, if there's ever like a clearer cut picture of why you should do a wheel tire or level, it's right there with your truck, man. It looks killer with that, everything installed. Zach, thank you so much for joining me today, brother. I appreciate it. Good luck with the truck. Thank you, appreciate it. All right, guys, well, there you go. That was Zach with his 2016 Silverado. Again, what you're looking at was the 18 by nine and a half inch Black Rhino Arsenal wheels. Sand on black is your color. Negative 18 millimeter offset, giving you that aggressive stance, a little bit of poke. Uh, wrapped around those black rhino wheels, again, will be the Mickey Thompson Baja ATZ tires. You got a 275-70R18, uh, which comes out to a 33 by 11 inch tire. And making it all possible is that two and a half inch front leveling kit. Guys, we hope you enjoyed this installment of Customer Setups. If you want a complete breakdown of Zach's list, feel free to check out his build page back at AT. But in the meantime, I'm Justin. Remember, for all things truck, keep it right here at AmericanTrucks.com.